Okay. So just curious, I mean, do you have an open container in the vehicle or? Did you see an open container? Well, I saw a cap and a cooler, which would lead me to believe that there's probably some alcohol in that vehicle. There are no open containers in the car. Okay. Have you been drinking today at all, sir? No, I have not. You promise? I promise. Okay. Can we do a f quick field sobriety test on you? No, we can't do that. Okay. And why is that? City Hall is to the left. That's the entrance for City Hall, but I believe they're going to be closed until June 6th or July 6th, excuse me, as well. And if you don't know where we're at, we're at, we're in Invergrove Heights, Minnesota. Black car number 31. This guy's just gotten on the radio. Squad car number 20. Hi. Hello. Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Anything I can help you with? No, I'm just hanging out. All right. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Sir? What was your name and badge number? I'm thinking it was Jeff Manning. Okay. And my badge number is 3632. Awesome. I like your last name. I was stationed at Fort Benning. Oh, cool. Yeah. Take care. Yep, you too. By the way, a lot of people, you know, say, stop wearing that face mask, you know, because it, they, you know, they say, well, this, is, this whole thing is drummed up by the fake news. And I get that. I would, I would actually tend to agree with that, that there's been an overreach in the Constitution all in the name of fear and panic. Um, but the reason I wear it is because um, it helps me to keep my anonymity. Plus, in certain videos, I am showing my face, and so if they recognize me, then it will um, you know, kind of add to whatever game they want to play. So, for example, they could all of a sudden be super nice because uh, they know it's me. So, that's why I wear it. Here's another squad car of some type. There's, I don't know, that might be the backup lights.
beer cap in this vehicle. Huh. And the cooler. It's not good. Oh, it's his car. Jay Benning. 36. 3632. Huh. Hello. Hey. Hold on one second. Hold on. Do you need something? Al? Yeah, so. Okay, hold on. Let me okay. get her to Richard. Sure. So I have a couple of questions for you. I All believe right. I believe that to be your vehicle right there, the, the silver one. one. The silver one, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see the the parka in the back that had your name and stuff on yep. it. I also see a cooler in the front seat and then a beer cap that's on the in the center console. Okay. So just curious. I mean, do you have an open container in the vehicle or? Did you see an open container? Well, I saw a cap and a cooler, which would lead me to believe that there's probably some alcohol in that vehicle. There are no open containers in the car. Okay. Have you been drinking today at all, sir? No, I am not. You promise? Promise. Okay. Can we do a f quick field sobriety test on you? No, we can't do that. Okay, and why is that? Because I'm trying to get my report done so I can get out of here. Well, I understand that, but what I'm what I'm saying, just from the public's viewpoint, so right? If you want to call my supervisor and have him give me a PBT, I don't then fine with that. But I'm okay. not going to do... You just won't follow the finger real quick and that's no, it? Officer safety issue. Okay. And COVID. I don't want to get that close to you. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind if I look in your vehicle real quick? Just the front seat there? Like you were doing? No, but I mean open the no. car door and look no. into that cooler and see if there's any open containers? No. Okay. And why is that? Just out of but curiosity. It's my car and like I said, I'm trying to get out of here on time. I get that, but if, if there's nothing to hide, then I... No, I'm not going to let you look in my vehicle. But thank you though. Okay. Well, can I speak with your supervisor then, sir? Okay. You understand my concern, right? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just doing my job, you know. Hello. Hey, Sergeant. How are you? Good. What's your name and badge number? My name's Adam. Adam? Okay. Peter Hoff. My badge number is 36AM9. You want a card? Oh, uh, yeah. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Well, say, I'm going to, if you wouldn't, if, if he can watch you so I can show you what I'm talking about, I'll go to the opposite side of the vehicle so you can look in without, you know, me being behind you. But I just want to show you something in his vehicle right here. So I'm gonna go on this side, so that way you can go to the other side. And I have no weapons on me or anything like that. I'll, I'll show you right now, just so Fine. you can see it. Okay, I just wanna let you know. In, in this vehicle? Yes, in this vehicle. So this is uh, Officer uh, Bennings. And if you look right here towards me uh, in that little pen compartment, you'll see a bottle cap that's open from a beer, a Corona, and then a cooler there. Okay. And so my concern is, is that obviously that would lead me to believe there's maybe an open container in the vehicle or something like that. <clears throat> Um, okay. And also would give me some concern that maybe Officer Benning had been drinking today or something like that. Okay. Um, he won't let me look in the vehicle, which is fine, but I think he's obviously been driving here and he's about to get in his personal vehicle and, and go home. So I asked him if I could give him a field sobriety test and he said no. Um, would you mind taking care of that then? I'll address it with him, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll wait right here then. Because my concern is, is that the man has a firearm. You know, he's operating a vehicle. The same thing that would apply to me, obviously, if I got pulled over, you know. And I don't I, I don't think it's unreasonable to just check it out real quick. To check it out. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, he's actually uh, just going to grab his duty bag and I'll address it with him, yeah. Okay. So, and then, you know, my thought process, too, is, is maybe we, we uh, I would like to know the outcome. Okay. So how do we do that? I mean, I think if, we could do a PBT right here. 
Yeah, well, well, I'm not gonna do it right here. I said I'm gonna address it with him and I'll, I'll deal with that, but just a bottle cap inside someone's vehicle doesn't give me probable cause to believe they're intoxicated. It doesn't believe. It doesn't give you probable cause to also believe there might be an open container in the vehicle. He's not in the vehicle. I understand that, but he's about to be in the vehicle. And he's there's also, not. okay. And so, so did, what did he show up in? How did he get to work? I don't know. Okay, well, that's the important thing, right? Because he's a police officer with a gun on him. And, and, and I totally get it, I, you know, but, then he goes out to the public and enforces the law. And my only concern is, you know, is I mean, if he's not intoxicated, great. That's good. That's what I want. I don't want him to be intoxicated or have any alcohol in his system at all, because as you know, that would void his- It's against our policy. Correct. Yeah, well, it's against, I think, most police departments, which obviously that's, that's a good thing. But um, so I just think it's important that we just address that. And then we can show the community that, hey, you know, this is, this is, they take this seriously. Yeah, we do take it very seriously. And I appreciate Good. you being a student enough to bring that to my attention. So yeah, of course, of course. We'll, we'll all address it uh, the way we see fit. And yeah. if you want to stop back and you got my card, you can call I do. me and I can have a discussion with you about the outcome, okay? Okay. Um, so there's, there's no way that you'll do a, a check to make sure there's not an open container in there. And there's no way that you'll, you'll just give them a, a PBT or, or do the fingers. No, I'm going to address it within the way I see fit. Thank you for bringing it to my attention, okay? Okay. All okay. right. Well, I appreciate Let me know it, Sergeant. Any other questions after okay. we're done, all right. Okay? Well, hopefully it works out. I'll be, I'll call back. He's willing to take a PBT right now, I guess. That'd be great. Then it would settle it and I could yeah. leave. Cause he's been very kind. He's been very nice and professional. What years were you at Fort Bennett? Uh, well, I'm not going to say right now. Oh, after I take it, you will? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll do that. I'll do that. In fact, do you know how these work? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. So right now it's just giving us a temperature. Okay. Doing an air blank, so it's sampling the air that okay. we're breathing right now. That, that means there's nothing in that sample of yep. the air. Do you... I don't, whatever. I don't care who who does it. I don't, I mean, you can try and figure out how to cheat it, so but I don't... That that says test, and that means yep. it's ready to go, so he's going to blow it. And cool. then it has to have two asterisks that come up. The first one just shows that there's air going through. And okay. The second one will show that there was an adequate sample. Okay. okay. And that click means it was an adequate sample. And then it thinks and it calibrates and you can see it says zero, zero, zero. Okay. My name is John. I can't put the code. Oh yeah. We'll okay, we'll do one of these. We'll one of these, these elbow things. I think we already introduced ourselves. Yes, but I, I didn't tell you my name before. So now I'm gonna tell you my name. My name's John. I'm a First Amendment auditor. What I do is I go out and I check with the, with the I'm gonna take a mask off. You guys are cool with that. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, as long as I'm gonna st I'll stay, yeah, you know, I'll stay six yeah. feet back. Yep. Okay, so what I do is I go around to different law enforcement facilities and I check them out. And I'm not trying to hassle you. I didn't think you were drunk, but what I'm going to do is I'm always going to investigate things as much as I can and I release that to the public. Okay. Okay. Sure. Two things I'll, I'll say right now. Number one, you're very professional. Well, thank you. You're an outstanding officer. I've met a lot of officers. You were amazing. Thank you. You were willing, you were honest, you were forthcoming. like you were great. I get the annoyance. You should be annoyed. I totally get it. How many people do you pull over and they're like, oh, hey, I'm super excited. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, it's, I get it. I get it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make a long speech. Okay. I appreciate that, everything. That's probably I'm trying to get you to get Everything how how you've been is how every officer should be. You were honest. You had nothing to hide. You did a great job. I appreciate it. The only thing I'd say is maybe we come up with a way for you to address the community in a quicker way. I'll go inside and talk with him, and then I may I'll give you a call if you want me to give you a call. That kind of thing. I just wanted that's to all. address it with him. I get it. Before I, I get it. And 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 you should right because you guys are law enforcement and you have to there's a lot more that goes into giving him something if God forbid he were than it would be to give me something right but I'm just saying you know what I mean just a thought process in the future um, I'll give you a oh, we'll do an air high five okay thank you guys yeah and uh, take care of both of you God bless you oh yes yes good good uh, so 2008 to 2013 yep were you in the military I tried but uh, you decided to serve here yeah well good because we need people like you well, thank you we do God bless both of you guys. I'm going to put this on YouTube, so I don't just post bad stuff, okay? I, 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 I And if you check out my channel, uh, it's the Rowdy Podcast. I posted good stuff about Edina. I had an interaction with Eden Prairie Police Department. It didn't go the greatest, but we resolved it. Um, let's see, I did Minneapolis before this whole stupid stuff where, you know, obviously there was a bad officer or a couple bad officers, but I don't think all cops are bad. I want to, like, show the reality of it, right? There was some stupid stuff that happened where I would consider that murder. Um, everybody has their own opinion. I'm not expecting you to give me yours. But I did do other officers there and they did, they did a great job. They were amazing. Um, not as good as you guys, but 
I would say you guys are probably, I would say you're my number one right now. Oh, wow, cool. So, yeah, because I don't think most departments or, or officers would have done what you did. I, I, really, I honestly don't think so. Yeah, I don't think most would do it. I think they'd tell me to F off and, and that would be that. feel comfortable doing it all year just with you and me. Yeah. How's it going? Good. My car. All right, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Right, Take care, you. guys. Stay safe. Thank you. Thanks for what you do. You bet. Thank you. Now, guys, I know there's gonna be some people who, you know, I, I'm friends with a lot of cops. And even while I was doing that, going through my head, I thought, this is a pretty good guy. Well, we just tested how good of a guy he is. That is the fucking example of how an officer should be. I get it, he doesn't want me to look at his car and he has every right to not want me to look at his car, right? We all have that, right? I did ask him some questions that we all get asked. Um, but at the end of the day, he said, no, 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 we'll just do the PBT right here. So, you know, to me, I would say that is amazing. I don't, I mean, that is, that's a good fucking department right there. Excuse my French, but I'm just... That guy makes me motivated. I'm happy to see police officers like that. And you know, I know people will have stuff to say about the sergeant, but, uh, you know, and I, I gave him some improves because I think that there is some improves. Uh, not for Officer Benning, but I would say for the sergeant, there's a little bit of an improve of, okay, here's what I'll do to make sure that I get the information, offer to call me, whatever. Um, so, you know, that's all I got for you today, guys. Really happy. Um, what an awesome, awesome officer. Uh, he's a great, great individual. And uh, God, I wish they were all like that.